That's right, today we are with Shannon Maylie Jones. Oh, we're two minutes into the Let's Play. Shannon is already having a poo. We are getting in our vacation van. Shannon is so excited. I am so excited. This is going to be a three part series where we do the winter bit, the forest bit, and the beach bit. I will say we have been on this loading screen for about two IRL minutes, and I'm terrified the game is frozen. And I think we're going to have to restart. I believe I probably. Oh, no, it's all right. We didn't lose Shannon later. Me, Lee, me, Le oh my god, I forgot her name. Shannon, May Lee Jones, or something. Anyway, we have fucking igloos. Sims 4 could never. Okay, we've been here for five minutes. Shannon already wants to play some games. Although the animation is glitching out a bit. She's not actually doing anything. Oh no, she's squirting a balloon. Absolutely lovely. Guys, the game is freezing. The Sims 1 is honestly a bitch. You think The Sims 4 is bad with lag and bugs and glitches? <laughs> you try playing The Sims 1. I'm gonna have to say even restart. I might even restart my PC. Guys, I restarted the entire PC just for you. Are we doing all right now? I think we are. <laughs> anyway, I think Shannon is having fun. Thank God. Rent a bow and arrow. I don't really understand. Oh my God, is that the clown? The tragic clown. One earth is a tragic clown. Doing in this winter wonderland. You, sir, are not the vibe. You are being so tragic right now. You are just crying. It is honestly not the vibe. I mean, this is supposed to be a magical winter area. Nothing I'm seeing. It's really wintry apart from the igloo and this little ski thingy. Is that boy wearing a witch's hat? Shannon is loving life on the arcade machines. Anyway, the arcade machine can go fuck itself because we are buying some brand new clothes. That's right, you can actually buy clothes in The Sims 1. Sims 4 could never. These are all winter outfits. I'm not sure if we're going for the full-on ski outfits or if we want to go for something a little bit more sultry. I think, oh my gosh, did she just pat her boobs. I think, oh my god, why is she shimmying her boobs? Oh my god, she loves that. Okay, we're going for it because she absolutely loves this outfit. And oh my god, are they souvenirs? I want to buy a souvenir. Patrick the Patchy Derm. One earth is a Patchy Derm. And oh my balls. Can we pause please? What on earth? Is this supposed to be a Yeti? Betty Yeti! That is not a Yeti. We can't even talk to her. I would like to talk to Betty Yeti. That is so infuriating. Seems we can buy like lots of souvenirs. I'm quite concerned why we have a baby. We just have like, can you see there's just like four babies. Are they real babies that they're selling in this market stall? It honestly would not surprise me in The Sims 1 if that was a thing. A bait. Oh, it's just a baby doll. We've got a chick chicken cookie jar. Excuse me, what on earth are all these things? Oh, we can't buy it. We need tokens. I think we need to speak to the vacation lady about prize tokens. Right, thank you very much, vacation director Kana. Oh my god, her face looks human. I have never seen a Sims 1 face look so human. It's like Uncanny Valley. That is quite scary. Anyway, many of our carnival games and attractions that award tokens to good players. So we just need to spam out all of this stuff. Although it is pretty late. I feel like we need to eat. I don't know how we eat. Is there a hot dog stand? Oh my god. It's a good job Shannon is not a vegan because the only food that they have here is hot dogs. That's one of the reasons why I honestly don't like vacation resorts because they, all they sell is just like unhealthy food. I cannot cope without a bit of salad. And on that note, I think it is time to go to sleep in our igloo. How exciting. Guys, have you ever slept in an igloo. I don't think I've ever even been in an igloo in my entire life. No, nah, fuck this. I'm out of here. Is she walking away? What is she doing? She's just relaxing. Oh my god, look at her. It's like the middle of the night. What time is it? It's like 10 p.m. and she's just relaxing on this wooden chair. Shannon, you're supposed to sleep in the fucking igloo, you moron. Get in the igloo, please, Shannon. Sleep, please. Thank you very much. Get in there. Thank you. I love how all of the staff here are just like permanently awake. Like they don't sleep. They're literally just standing around in Definitely. They must be cold. She only has a t-shirt on. Right now, Shannon is roasting marshmallows. These Chuck and Isadora are getting in my way and they are not the vibe. She, she didn't even eat them. I don't even know. Guys, how do we make her eat? All we have are fucking hot dogs. And it's not raising up her hunger neat because it's just trash food. Okay, maybe these burgers will do. Please raise her hunger neat. Please, please, please. Oh my god, it didn't raise it enough. I actually learned a cheat. So if you use bb.move objects on, you can actually delete the sim. And then when they come back, their needs are full. But because we're on vacation, we can't go into buy mode to delete her, which is a shame because in every single Sims 1 Let's Play I do, I end up getting so overwhelmed with
with the needs. Although, oh my god, a snowman kit. Oh my god, there's literally so much to do. I want to cry. I don't know where she's going to build a snowman. Why are we going at the edge of this entire lot? I will never understand. Okay, we're literally going right at the back. She's on her knees. She must be really getting into it. What an absolutely adorable snowman. Oh my god, it's got a little hat on it. That's honestly so cute. I want to knock it over, but there's not an interaction to knock it over. We can also rent a metal detector. Fuck knows why, but we're doing it. Right, I don't know what the metal detector does. Have we got one? Oh my god, Shannon is metal detecting under the wooden planks. I don't think she realises that you can't metal detect underneath them because she's very, very unintelligent. Oh my god, she literally, oh my god, look at her. She's, what's she gonna find, Grant? I'm very curious. In The Sims 1, we don't actually have like a personal inventory like you do in The Sims 4, so I'm not actually sure if she's even gonna be able to pick anything up and take it home. Is she finding anything? I don't know, she's behind the trees and I can't see because the camera angles are so annoying. I think I've said this in literally, oh my god, is she finding something? She stopped, she's going backwards. Oh my god, she's running through the trees. Oh my god, I don't know why I'm making this some really intense commentary. Where is she going? She's going back and forth. What is she gonna find? I have absolutely no idea. Is she stopping? She's stopping, she's starting. Is she gonna find anything? No, now she's got her bloody comfort knee down. The comfort knee literally makes me rage. I say this in every Let's Play. All she wants to do is just sit down. There you go, have a sit next to Betty the Yeti. Shannon is absolutely loving life right now. She looks so at peace. <laughs> I feel like I've been neglecting this nice little snowboarding thing and I feel like we need to go on it now. Shannon is getting ready. She's never snowboarded in her entire life. The Sims 4 Snowy Escape could never. Oh my God, look at her, she's going wild. How could she, oh no, did she fall over? I can't see because the stupid camera angles in this game. I think I've said this in every single Sims 1 Let's Play, but one thing that really annoys me is that the right arrow rotates left and the left right arrow rotates right. It is literally a dyslexic person's nightmare. Guys, this is incredibly annoying, but I'm actually gonna go home so we can delete Shannon so we can raise her needs because honestly, the Sims 1 needs to make me fucking rage. I haven't actually tried this, so I just like, somebody said it in a comment section before. So I think we can't, okay, we can't pick her up. Oh no, I need to do the cheat first. Okay, move underscore objects on, and then we click her and then we delete her and then we go back and then we right click her. Now she's back. Oh my God, all of her needs are up. It's literally incredible. Literally amazing. Right, Shannon, let's get back on our holiday. I mean, in The Sims 4, we complain that babies are objects. In The Sims 1, technically, all Sims are objects. I want to try the other resorts. This one, oh, see, this one looks a little bit more classy, although there is a polar bear rug. Aren't they, like, endangered? Okay, that is not classy. That is horrendous. But, oh, look, you can check in, like, a hotel. Sims 4 could never. Oh, and we have, like, a banquet, so it would be much easier to eat. This is basically The Sims 4 Snowy Escape, but it's only, like, one part of the pack because there are three parts of The Sims on holiday or The Sims Vacation. In the UK, this pack was actually called Sims on Holiday because in the UK, we don't really use the word vacation. We don't say I'm going on vacation, we say I'm going on holiday. So they had to change the pack name for us because we are difficult. But oh my God, look at her. She's literally having the time of her life. Oh my God. I'm here to enjoy myself, JC style. Do you know what I mean? When I lived in Japan, oh my God, literally she has her boobs out. <laughs> Oh my God, I feel like I shouldn't say that on YouTube because this video will get demonetized. It's all right, YouTube, there is a mosaic blur. Do not demonetize this video. But when I was living in Japan, I went to a couple of the hot springs and honestly, it was nice. The water, it's got like minerals in it. It's very aesthetic. They've got these cute little tubs. The only thing is you have to be naked in there. Oh my God, this man is coming in with me naked. That is what it was like in the Japanese ones where I went to. Oh my God, why is she talking about floppy disks? <laughs> Does anybody remember floppy disks or a my audience too? young. Anyway, like in the Japanese hot springs, you cannot wear a swimsuit. You have to be naked. And I remember saying like, can I, why can I not just wear a swimsuit? And they were like, you're not allowed to. And I was like, why? And they were like, because it's the rules. And I was like, why is it the rules? And they're like, just because it was the rules. It's like, why do I have to show off my naked body in this place? But if you can get over like the naked thing, it is very nice. Shannon is flirting with Daniel. Oh my God, they can cuddle and kiss. They don't even know each other. And I can literally do an interaction for them to kiss. Oh my god! Oh my god, he pushed her away! He's like, no, you bitch, get off me. <laughs> oh my god, what are they doing now? They're cuddling. Oh my god, I didn't even make them do that. Oh my god, they're actually kissing! Oh my god, Shannon, Shannon, you are what I want to be in life. Oh my god, they can she can wash him. Oh my god, he's coming out now. He's like, I'm bored of you, Shannon. <laughs> 
Oh my god, Betty Yeti is back. She's following me everywhere. And oh my god, what is this? A snowball fight place. We can do a snowball fight. We're just fighting alone because there is nobody else here to play with us, which is rather tragic. All right, I think she's giving up and now she's just going to the banquets. Well, at least I bloody tried. At least I tried. Oh my god, we even have another bloody ski slide scope thing here. Oh my god, the Sims 4 snowy escape could never. Oh my god, she's sliding down it. Oh my god. There's two courses. I wanted to go on the other course. Can she only go on the one? That is literally hilarious. It's like a bobsleigh thing. <laughs> Can she not go on the other side? I would like her to go on the other side, but she's not. She's just going down the same one over and over again. That is a shame. Oh my god, now she's doing the other side. This is literally so exciting. Although I really want to start a snowball fight with somebody else, but literally nobody is coming with me. I'm literally just standing by myself. This is literally so awkward. Come on, please. Somebody come with me. Shannon. Oh my god, there's another Shannon! <laughs> There's another person called Shannon. Shannon just wants to get in the hot tub again and get naked. Oh my god, <gasps> you missed your vacation checkout time. Oh no, I think we're being charged because we forgot to check out. Whoopsie daisy. At least Shannon is having the time of her life. Oh my god, this raises a comfort need to. I did not know this. This is perfect. Well, I will remember for next time that if you want to raise comfort need just to go in the hot tub. Although Shannon's needs are getting a little bit traumatizing again, which can only mean one thing, which is that we go home and delete ourselves to raise our needs up and get back to our fucking holiday. I'm trying the third wintry area we've got over here. This is supposed to be the trashy area. So I think there's not gonna be that much here. Although we can do fishing, we can go winter fishing. We can still have our snowball fights. We have, do we have anywhere to sleep? I don't think we do, but we're gonna have to make do. Janitor Tanya's here again. She's a janitor in every single place. Vacation director Khan is here again. Is that traumatizing Yeti here? Bella bloody not be. Oh my God, Shannon is actually having a snowball fight this time. And oh my God, the traumatizing Yeti is here. <laughs> Oh my god, it's just dancing behind us. What a fucking weirdo. Oh my god, we're literally having a snowball fight with all these people and I am right next to Harry Potter. This is literally insane. Do you know what? The most traumatizing snowball fights I've had in my life were at school. People were literally savage. You have not seen savagery until you've had a snowball fight in school and it was always the people in the year above and they literally like physically harm you with the snowballs. Although Shannon's not doing a very good job. She's not hitting anybody very well because she's not good at snowball fights. Oh my god, this better yet is is honestly a weirdo. Why does it look like that? It looks like fucking Lisa Simpson. Lisa Simpson and a Yeti had a baby. It would be Betty the Yeti. Oh my God, immediately Shannon gets back in this hot tub. She's obsessed. She's literally obsessed. Do you know what? I'm all for it. I love going in the hot tub. I go in the hot tub at least once a day. I don't have one in my house because I'm not a conservative party voter, but in my local leisure center, it's my routine. I do the gym and then I do the swimming pool and then I do the hot tub and then I do the steam room. It's just something about the bubbles. I like the bubbles. Oh my god, Maid Marion. Guys, I'm not really paying much attention to the NPCs, but Maid Marion. Oh my god, her name is Marion. This is honestly the most iconic fucking NCP cast I've seen in my life. We've got Maid Marion. We've got Janet Tatania. We've got Vacation Director Kana. We've got Rental Shack Zach. Oh my god, these people literally sound like something from a fucking Juno Burt's Let's Play. Desk Clerk Chloe. Oh my god, she's the best one. Although the thing I care about the most is getting tokens so we can buy the cursed baby souvenir. So I'm literally gonna play every single machine. I don't even know what these are. I mean, literally Sims 4 could never. I can't believe in the Sims 4 we don't have arcades like this. I mean, we have 61 tokens so far. Can we buy anything with 61 tokens? It doesn't say the prices on here. I just want the cursed doll. Can we afford it? Don't let me down, Barney the Carney. Oh, it's 85 tokens, so we cannot afford it. Although we are getting there right now, Shannon. It's being incredibly violent with her hammer, smacking this thing. That's another six tokens. Okay, I believe we finally have enough for the cursed baby doll. We have KV baby souvenir doll in our inventory. The only one activity which we're doing now, which we haven't done, is the art tree. I don't know what art tree has got to do with a snowy world. I feel like they just chucked in all of the random <laughs> things and put it in the world. Guys, we bought the baby home. Oh my god, Shannon has bought the baby home. She's tired, but I don't care because we have the cursed baby on our kitchen counter. Remember! We just click it and remember. We just remember the babies. Oh my god, does The Sims 1 have a memory system. Sims 4 could never. On that note, guys, this is a three-part series. I'm going to upload the videos every other day. So once I've uploaded them all, I'll pop the video here. And I'm also going to pop them in the description below. So make sure you give them a watch. See you in the next one.